going to do Taylor Swift, I knew you were troubled. It should be quite an easy lesson. We're just going to do some like simple acoustic chords, capoed at the fourth fret. Um, this is going to be very much for the acoustic. Um, if you do want me to do an electric version, which is a lot more like the song, uh, sound wise, then let me know in the comment section below. But for now, we'll stick with the easy acoustic version. So let's get started with it. Right, folks, this is our verse part. So all we need to do is play through four chords for this. We're going to play D, we're going to play A, we're going to play B minor, we're going to play G. And these are up on the screen right now. Okay, so have a look at these shapes. Remember we're capoed at the 4th fret. Our first shape looks like this. This is our triangle, this is our D shape. Middle finger on the high E string, uh, first string that is. 3rd finger, 3rd fret of the 2nd string and 1st finger, 2nd fret on the 3rd string. We're going to strum down from the D string. That will give us our 1st chord. We're going to change to an A after that. So what we're going to do is we're going to play 1st finger at the 2nd fret on the 4th string and then we're going to put the middle and 3rd finger right underneath that on the 3rd string 2nd fret 2nd string 2nd fret so they're all going to be kind of squeezed in here it's going to give us an A chord strum down from the A string then we're going to play our very small bar shape okay so it's going to look like this this is a B minor chord now there's other ways we could play this there's probably a simpler way we could probably play this but we kind of want to get this bass note in here, especially when we're going to be playing our rhythm. So we're going to focus on trying to get this note in here, which is the second fret from our capo on the fifth string. So our shape is first finger, just barring down, maybe even just if you can get this one string here, then that would be great. But if not, we're going to try and get from this string to this string, okay, which is from the fifth to the first. Okay. Then our third finger is going to sit on the fourth fret. Okay. Uh, on the 4th string, pinky sits underneath that, 4th fret, 3rd string, and the middle finger is going to sit 3rd fret, 2nd string. Strum that down from the A string, you have a B minor. What we're going to do to finish off is we're going to do a G. This is the bread and butter chord for guitarists, so you can see this one on the screen. We've got pinky and 3rd finger, 3rd fret on the 1st and 2nd string, middle finger right to the 6th string here, moving right up to here, middle finger, uh, sorry, first finger is going to sit second fret, fifth string. And that gives us our four chord shapes. So these will work for the chorus as well. We're just going to change around order a little bit. So, strumming wise for this, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing a pattern like this. Which is eight on each. Okay, but what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can palm mute this. So this is putting this side of our hand right against the bridge up here so the bridge is this part of the guitar where the strings meet the body pop it right here and we're going to try and get this sound okay that would be okay so what I'm doing strumming wise there is I'm doing one two three four five six seven eight Okay, this is the strumming that will suit it best, but obviously if you feel like you want to do less strumming or easier strumming, go for it. This will suit the song best though, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So it's kind of like we're doing 1, 2, 3, that's an accent, so that's a little bit louder. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Like that. I'm kind of lifting off the palm mute when I want to do that accent, okay? It takes a wee bit of practice, okay, but we're going to be changing like that. So we're doing two, two bars worth, I suppose we're doing on that. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be, if we were counting that all together, that would be two sets of eight on each chord. Okay? And that's how our verse would go through. So if you do want to just do it normally, like uh, you could just do a normal strumming pattern, like. as well. It's, it's all just down to you how you want to play this. I'm just going to give you your guide for working through these strumming patterns. So, 
that's your, your verse, that's how it goes through every time. So let's move on to our chorus now. Right, so our chorus now, we're just going to put the same chords that we had in our verse in a different order now. So they're going to be B minor, G, A, D and A. Like that, okay? So there's our chords on the screen now. You can just follow these through. We've already went through how to play them, so let's just strum through them. First thing you'll do, if we want to make it sound like the song, we're going to try and do two two hits on each chord here at the start like that so that would be two on the B minor two on the B uh, sorry on the G two on the A and then we're going to do a little triplet thing which would be one two three on the D one two three on the A so that would be one two three one two three okay so that's if we wanted to make it sound like the song because it does get kind of almost dubstepy at that bit Okay, but another way you could do this is you could use a uh, down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern. Like that, so that's down, down, up, up, down, up on each chord. You would half it at the end, down, down, up, up, down, up, or last two chords which is the D and the A okay and that's like that would give you a bit more um, bit more body to your strumming pattern because you would have to have more going on there instead of your your pauses like that okay so that's how we would play through the chorus it goes through the same every time so you can just mix it up a little bit use any strumming pattern you like just try and make it fit your style of playing uh, so let's go on to the bridge now and that's us almost done our song Right, our last section now. We're almost there. This is a really quick lesson today, this one. So we're just going to be doing three chords. We're going to be using G, B minor and A. And this is the easy section. This will give you a good chance to practice these changes. Okay, so we're going to do G, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, B minor. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. G, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. A, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And keep going with the A until it goes back into the chorus again. It's actually that simple. It's great. So all we need to do is just to hold a chord for eight strums. So it's G for eight strum, uh, sorry, G for eight. So you can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. B minor for eight, G for eight. And then the A will last for 16. It just goes a little bit longer. Okay, and that's all there is to the bridge. Really, really, really simple. And that concludes the song as well. Right, folks, thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos and if you are, please feel free to rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.